you. Oh, I hope I'm not keeping you from your guests. Oh, they're not my guests. That's Mother's idea of high society. They're all excited because you're here. Really? Should I be flattered? Oh, they say dreadful things about you. What sort of things? Well, that you're a drunkard and a bounder and a remittance man. They'll hang around you just the same because your father was an earl. Suppose I shouldn't be talking like this. Why not? I don't mind. I don't care what they say about you, because I know what you really like. I've watched you from my window every time you've come to the Smileys. Sometimes I think you're the only person in Rancho Poor I don't hate. You see, Mr. Ransom, I've wanted to know you for a long time, but not this way. Not with Mother throwing me at your head. Oh, my dear child. Well, I'm not a child. I'm over 18. I'm a woman. I... I need your help. I'm in trouble. Trouble? Yes, I... Oh, it's so hard to tell you. No, oh, it needn't be. I understand. <laughs> That's why I had to come to you. You see, well, I... Perhaps I can help you. Is there a man mixed up in it? No. Except you. Oh, Mr. Ransom, I've got to get away from here. I can't stand it any longer. What's the matter? Well, they want to run my life for me. They want me to go on living this phony life they think is so wonderful. And Mother pretending we're not just missionaries. You will help me, won't you? Well, what could I do? Well, you know all about the world and, and women and things like that. Oh, well, if it's advice you want... Oh, no, I, I need more than advice. I... I haven't any money. Well, I couldn't do that. Well, I only need a little. Just enough to get me to where I want to go. I'll pay you back, honestly, every cent. Oh, it isn't the money, my child. It's... I told you I'm not a child. Look here, I can't be directly responsible for what might happen to you. Don't you realize the awkward position you might put me in? I didn't think you cared about respectability. Well, I don't. Well, neither do I. I just want everything there is to be had out of life. Well, that's all very well. But it's not that easy. I'm not looking for things to be easy. I just can't stand it here any longer. I've got to get away. Where would you go? On the stage. On the stage? Well, why not? I'm not bad looking. And I have very nice legs. Oh, yes. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's it. Uh, 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 Miss Simon and I, we were just uh, talking about the theatre. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's a messenger here from the palace. Oh, yeah? From Her Highness, Ransom Saab. I'm afraid I'll have to leave you a delightful party if I'm going to be on time. Oh, my dear boy, that's quite all right. I understand perfectly. When the palace calls, we must drop everything and obey. Oh, well, you're very kind. Charming, mm. isn't he? I think it was a mistake inviting him. Everyone knows his reputation with... <clears throat> women. And rum. Don't be provincial. Do you ever get us invited to the palace? Do you? Good evening. Good evening, Lance. I'm glad you could come. To see you again is one of the few thrills left in life, Your Highness. <laughs> you said that as if you meant it. I do mean it. Come along. I'll introduce to you our guests of honor. Lady Eskett. Hello, Edwina. Why, Tom. We 
heard of a person named Ransom living in Ranchapur. But I never dreamed it was you. How nice that you know each other. Oh, yes. We're old friends. Albert. Yes? This is Tom Ransom. You've heard me speak of him. My husband. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ransom, of course. How do you do? Your Highness, I've just been telling Mr. Banerjee. Banerjee. Yes, it was when I first visited India. I was amazed to find that you people had so many of the modern conveniences. Yes, yes and the blessings of civilization. Oh, thank you. We uh, flatter ourselves to be jolly well abreast of the times. Your Highness, dinner is served. Shall we go? Now that you've met one of your own kind, I suppose you'll be grand for days. Why do you always make a point of criticizing men like Tom Ransom? Because he happens to be a gentleman? Well, if he's a gentleman, why is he living here in India? He's got plenty of money. I don't imagine Tom's ever thought of money one way or another in all his life. Oh, one of those radicals, eh? Here goes one of the most expensive figures in the British Empire. I've been telling you never to draw to an inside state. <laughs> Your Highness, would you mind if I showed Lady Esk at the palace? Of course not. Need a guide? No, thanks. I know my way about. Good luck. Your Highness. My apologies for being late. You received my message? Was it cholera? No, just old-fashioned colic. Good. Get in the game. I need some competition. No, <laughs> look here, Your Highness. <laughs> Your Highness, I'm willing to pay 5,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds for that chestnut stallion and, and two mares. It is a generous offer, but Azoka is not for sale. Oh, come now. Anything's for sale if... If the offer's high enough. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't understand. Your Highness drives a hard bargain. I mean to have that stallion. Name your price and I'll meet it, whatever it is. It is not a question of price, Lord Esker. You have seen other horses in my stables, almost as perfect as Nasoka. Now, please let me make you a gift of a stallion and two mares. Gift? Well, if your highness really means it, you... Thank you. <laughs> 